In this video, you're going to learn key things about stretch marks in pregnancy, including what they are, what causes them, prevention, and some potential options for treatment. So let's start off by understanding what stretch marks are. Well, stretch marks are narrow, streak-like lines that can develop on the surface of the skin. As you can see on the images that are appearing on screen here, they can be pink, red, purple, or brown, depending on your skin color, and they can be found in up to 80% of pregnant women meaning that they're really common during pregnancy. Importantly, if you take anything away from this video, stretch marks are not harmful. They don't cause medical problems and there's no specific treatment for them. They typically appear on the tummy, but they can also be found on the upper thighs and breasts and other parts of the body. The stretch marks on the tummy can get bigger as your pregnancy progresses and your bump starts to grow. Now the exact timing of when stretch marks appear is going to vary from individual to individual. So now we know what they are, well what causes stretch marks? Well they're very common and don't just affect pregnant women. They can appear whenever the skin is stretched, for example when we grow during puberty or when we're putting on weight. Hormonal changes in pregnancy can affect your skin and make you more likely to get stretch marks. They happen when the middle layer of the skin, known as the dermis, becomes stretched and broken in places. Whether or not you get stretch marks will depend on your skin type, as some people's skin is more elastic. Now, specific to pregnancy, you're more likely to get stretch marks if your weight gain is more than average. Most women gain around 10 to 12 and a half kilos, which is also 22 to 28 pounds in pregnancy, although weight gain varies a great deal from woman to woman. How much weight you gain may depend on your weight before you're pregnant and also if you're having twins or triplets. Now it's important that you don't diet to lose weight when you're pregnant, but you should eat a balanced and healthy diet. If you do want to learn more about a balanced diet during pregnancy or if you're worried about your weight, then you should speak to your midwife or doctor. I've also included a fantastic video resource in the description box of this video from the Loyola School of Medicine, which covers important things that you should do during pregnancy to maintain a balanced diet, as well as other resources and links from evidence-based websites such as the NHS in the UK and the Mayo Clinic in the US. Now let's look at how to prevent stretch marks and whether there's any evidence behind some of the products that claim they can do this. Well, as you probably gathered, there's not really a way to stop stretch marks from happening during pregnancy. It's only natural that as your tummy gets bigger with the baby growing inside and the skin stretches, there's a good chance that you could develop them. Now some creams claim to remove stretch marks once they've appeared, but there's actually no reliable evidence that they work. There's also limited evidence about whether oils or creams help prevent stretch marks from appearing in the first place. So if you've got stretch marks, what should you do about them? Well, after your baby's born, the marks may gradually fade into paler scars and become less noticeable. And although they do tend to become less noticeable over time, they may not go away completely. There are some treatments that may help make stretch marks look better, but they won't get rid of them. Now, these include things such as retinoids or hyaluronic acid. They may help if used on new stretch marks, but you should not use retinoid creams if you're pregnant because they can harm your baby. Other potential options are light or laser treatments or something called microdermabrasion, which removes a thin layer of skin. Now in the UK, these treatments are not typically available on the NHS and they would need to be paid for privately. Now you should also discuss the pros and cons of these with a trained doctor such as a dermatologist who's familiar with all of these procedures. They will help you make an informed decision about whether or not pursuing any options to try and reduce stretch marks will be beneficial to you. Finally, you may not be pregnant, but you may be watching this video and notice that you've got stretch marks on your tummy and you seem to be larger on your chest and tummy but have slim arms and legs. You may also have a buildup of fat on the back of your neck or shoulders or a red puffy rounded face. If any of these apply to you, then you should see your doctor because this could be a sign of Cushing's disease. I do hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new. If you did, please remember to like it, leave me a comment if you've got any other thoughts or you'd like to share your experience of stretch marks during pregnancy and please subscribe to the channel for weekly medical education videos if you've not done so already. I'd also like to ask you to check out the references and resources that I've used to make this video. That includes all of the evidence-based resources as well as those resources I discussed on healthy diet during pregnancy and those are in the description box. There's lots more useful information within these links. Finally, I've got to stress that this has been designed as an educational video, not an individual clinical advice video. And for legal reasons, 
please read the full disclaimer in the description box. If you've got any concerns about skin changes during pregnancy, please go see your doctor, midwife or health provider. As ever, thank you for watching and until next time, bye.